Good morning, guys. I am was supposed to go to Long Island today, and um, actually, I had to cancel because in the area I was going, someone's infected by the coronavirus, so they advised me not to go there, and um, so I am not heading there, and this has been just crazy. Everything's happening with this virus and um i don't know it's like a lot going on and i know i have to have surgery and a transfer date and i was in my fertility groups and a lot of the women on there are saying that they're probably going to delay their transfer um i don't really want to do that um being that you know everything is going on with this virus a lot of them are saying they're going to wait and change their transfer date or delay it and i don't know if that's a good idea i mean i don't plan on doing that i it was it just wasn't a thought but now since everything is happening in the news with it and then i was in my facebook group and that's what they were saying and i'm thinking like okay is that something that i should consider um, does anyone know that is currently doing their IVF, if that is something that um, you're considering or has your doctor at the facility that you're doing your transfers or you do your egg retrievals, are they telling you anything about the, um, the virus on delaying it? Um, because it's just every day it's changing and the numbers are rising and it's just really scary what's going on. I mean, I just, I just can't believe the, you know, the numbers. Stop it, Juju, bounce, uh, dogs. I just can't believe how the numbers are rising like this, and it's just really concerning. Just left to get Dunkin' Donuts. The grocery store was so, um, not really packed, but everyone's shopping carts were filled up to the top. And it's just like people are so concerned and we need to be concerned because we don't even know, you know, who's infected. People aren't getting tested and it's just very scary, like a scary uh, situation. So if any of you ladies that are currently doing the IVF cycle, let me know if any of your IVF doctors are recommending anything or is it just business as usual or just continuing to go along with the process or have they gave you any paperwork or documentation just you know to advise us with this situation because I um, I don't know and I have a I have auto um, autoimmune disease I have rheumatoid arthritis so for me it's important that you know I make sure I stay healthy and do everything I need to do because you know um I'm I'm would be at risk. So it's just something to think about. It's really concerning. Uh, I don't plan on changing my transfer date unless the doctor advises me to do that. Then I will I, I have to do it. But um, I've waited so long. I think that I'm gonna just go ahead and do it. But if anyone has any advice on it that you're currently been advised to do by your doctor, just leave a comment so other women could know and. Um, you know, I can know what your facility is telling you just so everyone's in the loop because it seems like no one really knows what's going on and day by day, we're all just figuring it out. So just wash your hands, get your Lysol, get your disinfect wipes, alcohol things down and sanitize and try not to go in like, you know, places where there's a lot of people, I mean. I'm just repeating what I hear on the news, guys. So anyway, I hope everyone has a great day. And um, yeah, that's it, guys. Bye.